Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to my channel. We've got a super fun video planned today. Halloween is here. It is my favorite. We're going to be going to Michael's and Target and checking out all of the Halloween things together. And when we get back, we're going to be decorating my entryway for Halloween. I cannot wait. I'm so excited and ready to have it all decorated. So when I walk through the door now, it's going to be like a little Halloween portal. It's going to be a lot of fun. So make sure you stick around so you see how all of that comes together. And before we go, if you could please subscribe and like this video. I've got lots of Halloween content coming your way, lots of holiday content. So you definitely want to make sure you stick around so you don't miss that. And with that, let's head to the store. I really like this mystical theme they had, especially with this crystal ball. I think that would be such a cute theme for a dining room table. I love this cauldron. I may need to go back and get that. As always, they have some of the cutest picks um, for Halloween. I love getting their little picks. They're so good for tiered trays, wreaths to put in a vase, um, just really any craft project that you're doing. Michaels always has great uh, selections, but they do seem to sell out really fast. So if it's like August or September and they have them out, I recommend getting the ones that you want because um, once they're gone, they typically, I don't see them restock. Is anybody else like obsessed with their little scrap paper books? I always have to stop and look at the little themes. I just think it's so fun to have these around for different craft projects and I just love all the colors together in this little booklet. It's so cute. This wall here is always my favorite at Michael's, their orange, black, and white theme. I have found so many things from this theme in years past, um, and I just love coming here and seeing what they have come up with from year to year. I love all the traditional colors. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, as I watch this footage back, I realized I totally missed out on not getting those beautiful black glitter trees right there. They are so amazing. And I actually ordered something very similar on Amazon and I could have just gotten it at Target, which has a better version since it has the little vase. Um, but I'm definitely going back to Target and taking another look at this section here. They have so many good things that um, would be great elements kind of for the background of your decor. So I definitely recommend checking out what's at Target this year. If you're looking for skeletons, I definitely recommend stopping in at Target. They had such a wide variety of different sizes and pieces um, to choose from. I have seen a lot of good skeleton pieces at Joann's as well, um, but Target definitely had some good options, especially for these life-size skeletons here. Okay, I realize this is more for fall, but these are so cute, these little pumpkin trucks. If you had a farmhouse theme, this would be so adorable. I really like that Target came out with some nice Halloween dishes. Um, they were very heavy and they just felt like really good quality compared to some of the more plastic dishes that you're used to seeing. So if you're looking for something a little bit nicer, they definitely had an option for that. Okay, so real quick, I'm going to show you guys what I got at this store. So at Michael's, I got this kind of pinky purple pick. And I got this beautiful dark purple one. This was the last one of these. This is like the perfect color. I really wish they had more. Definitely will pick up more next year if I see them. Um, and then this awesome bat pick. I just love these like glittery, spooky branches. I think they're so perfect. Um, I got two of these cute little like witch legs because I'm going to do uh, like a little vase with these. And then we've got a witch hat to go with it. They had a couple different kinds of these, but this is the one that I got. So now we've got orange and purple there. Um, and then the last picks I got were these cute little assorted kind of pumpkins. So we're going to see if we can play around and do something with those. And then for ribbon, I found this beautiful purple sparkly one. This was in the regular section on clearance. But that is so pretty. Um, all the ribbon I got was wired. But yeah, it's, it's just kind of like a sparkly tool. Um, and then in the Halloween section, I picked up this really cool black and white striped wired ribbon um, and then this orange white and black which I love it's got that beautiful glitter in it um, so we'll be trying to make something with those um, and then I got some filler here I got some more sparkly bats these little garlands so they have so many different types of these um, these are just like the best thing you can make wreaths candle wreaths you can make garlands and twine lights around them 
Um, so I really love these Michaels little coiled garlands. They are perfect for anything craft. Um, and I also picked up this solid black kind of garland. I don't even know what to call this. Wiry, glittery, beautiful. Um, and then for decor, I got these cute little witch boots. This is going to be so perfect for my entryway since I'm doing kind of a witch theme. And then I got this really pretty kind of filler pumpkin. They, I really need some Halloween filler pumpkins. And this was the last one again too. These are kind of hard to find. Like I feel like they always have words and stuff on them. And it's just really hard to find these days. Like super cute, like larger size, just kind of fillers. So I grabbed that one for sure. And then moving on to Target, I didn't find a ton of stuff, but I did pick up Arabella these cute little leggings. So we've got some little Halloween leggings. I think these were only $5. Yeah. So this would be super cute with some like little socks and a little sweater or something over top. And then these beautiful black sparkly leggings. Um, I did get one of their little festive snacks to try. Um, so maple caramel. Um, but as you saw, they have so many. I love the favorite day stuff. Um, and then for decor, I just picked up these cute little branches. Um, they were only $5 at the dollar spot. But they are just like the perfect little filler. You could stick these like literally anywhere. And the perfect thing kind of from year to year to change up. So if you do see these, I do recommend grabbing a couple. Um, these will definitely be something I can use from year to year, and they're only $5. It would also be really good if you're not like over the top decor like me, and you just want a little, little spooky something to stick in the corner. So that is it from Michaels and Target. I've got two beautiful glittery witch brooms here. Um, I did get these from Michaels from previous years, actually. But they do have them again this year in various styles. I think maybe some of the signs are a little different. Um, they also have kind of a candy corn stripe one I saw this year. Um, I wish they would come out with a purple glitter. I would love that. But I may just get another black one if they don't have that next year. And then just change out the ribbons so they all coordinate. But for now, I've just got these two. And the only thing I really don't love about them, though, are these signs. Um, it's just too many words because I'm going to have another sign uh, above this for the brooms. So I want to remove these little signs. Um, I did look at it. It's glued. And then it's got kind of a staple on either side. So I'm just going to get some little mini pliers and pry those off. And then I'm sure... Um, there'll be some scuffing from where we pried it off and so I'll just retouch it with some black craft paint and then these will be ready to hang. I'm so excited to see them up. They're so cute, especially for our little witch entryway. So let's get these prepped and ready to go. Okay, so this is what it looks like after I removed the signs. Um, there's a little bit of glue on there so I'm gonna get that off and then there's is actually a nail I don't know what happened to the other nail that's a little concerning <laughs> um, if I can get these nails out of here I'll probably just keep these signs it would be good to just kind of stick in a little corner or something um, but yeah so I'm gonna try to trim some of this extra little glue pieces off with some scissors and then just get grab a paper towel and kind of just dab it with some black craft paint to Kind of hide that a little bit okay update my little scissors i cut off a little bit but not it's not really getting as much of this off um and i don't have any sandpaper but i just grabbed a little nail file and i'm just gonna file this down as best i can uh, before we paint it okay so the nail file worked fabulous um if you have some sandpaper or a little nail file um, that definitely got most of it off so I'm just going to be taking some just basic um, this is folk art pure black sorry it's not focusing too well I'm um, just some basic black paint so we're just going to dab a little bit of this black paint on a paper towel and I'm not trying to get it too perfect um, just trying to cover up um, some of those spots that got roughed up when we moved the sign. So as you can see, that's really 
all we need just a little bit there so I'm gonna go ahead and finish these up okay so we've got our black paint dabbed on that only just took a minute and they look so good um, you really can't tell especially from far away that we you know have these signs on here and I just feel like that makes these look so much nicer um, just to kind of remove that little sign okay so another thing I'm gonna be doing um, I got these little witch hats from Amazon and they're the kind that you can just hang up like for your porch we've all seen that on Pinterest um, but I'm gonna be using one of them on my mirror I couldn't find like a cute tiny little reef to hang on a mirror but I'm actually gonna be doing something better we're gonna be decorating this witch hat with some of these stems and ribbons and stuff that we got um, and kind of using that to hang onto our mirror now I'm going to be doing some kind of wire ribbon. I'm not going to show like a wire ribbon tutorial because I don't want this video to be too long. But you can find plenty of them on YouTube. It doesn't take very long and you just need some wire and then some wired ribbon. Um, if you're interested in seeing how I do my bows, let me know down in the comments. Um, but for this video, we'll just keep it moving here. And then I'm going to be playing around with some of these picks, maybe incorporating some of these into the hat, um, and then maybe some of this filler. So I'll show you guys what I come up with, and then we'll use that to hang on our mirror. So for my little witch hat, um, I just hot glued some of this garland and three little points on here. Um, it's really messy. It sheds a lot of glitter, but it's very pretty. Um, and I love it with the glittery bow. So then I just hot glued the bow right on top. Um, and I'm just going to hang that kind of on my mirror for a little decoration. So I really liked how it turned out. I ended up not using any of the little pumpkin picks. I just felt like it didn't really add anything. But yeah. I like it simple, easy, and cute. Okay, so real quick, I just want to show you guys my little setup here for the witch hats. Um, I did get these little puck lights off of Amazon, which I can link down below. Um, but whatever light source you're using, if you have one, you want to make sure it comes with a remote. Um, this one's really nice because you can change it to different colors. Um, and then I just used the fishing wire that came with my witch hats um, and taped it together on both sides and then making it come to a little point. So that way it's balanced, mostly balanced, um, taping it together at the top and then taping or tying a safety pin once we've reached our desired length. So I just kind of measured it on my witch hat to see where I wanted it to stop and that's where you put your safety pin and that's going to keep this fishing line from going through the hole in your witch hat. So measure it to whatever you link, length you want, tie your safety pin, and then I've got a bunch of extra line on the end, and that's what we'll use to hang it from the ceiling. So when we turn this on here, you can see I've got one in the witch hat, so when I suspend it from the top, um, our little light is in there. And yeah, looks really cute. I wanna show you guys the space we have to work with. It's pretty much a blank slate at this point. Um, and we're going to be transforming this into a witch's theme uh, for this year. I did hang up that wall hook, um, but other than that, it's pretty bare. So we've got a lot of work to do. So let's get this started. So here I'm just going to hang this super cute little felt garland. I did get this at Michael's a few years ago I believe. Um, but I'm just trying to add something in the middle since the two brooms I had to hang a little bit wide um, so that it would all fit. But I really love how that looks. And the super cute broom sign, I did get this at Michael's in a previous year as well. Um, I just love this sign especially with the brooms so I'm just going to hang that right over top. Now for over here, I'm going to be adding those bat branches we got from Michaels along with the purple ones. And then I'll also be adding in some lighted branches that I got from Amazon, which I can link down below. And then we'll be adding in those witch pieces as well that we got from Michaels this year. So 
so this garland it's actually um it's basically the purple version of that black sparkly garland i showed earlier um, entwined with purple lights and i'm just making a little background garland to go across the table So this witch doll, I got her at the at-home store a couple years ago and she is like my all-time favorite Halloween decoration and probably my all-time favorite decoration of all. If anybody knows where I can get another like really pretty witch doll like this, let me know down below in the comments. So here I'm just adding that spider web to the mirror. Um, I did find it a lot easier working in thinner layers. I think it came out a lot better. So um, I'm using scissors to just kind of thin out some of that webbing, especially along the edges where it tends to clump up. Um, and that just gives it a much nicer look when you work with the thinner layers. Okay, so let me show you the next thing we're going to do is add these bats onto our wall here um, and just kind of stick them going up along the wall. I've never used these before. I know we've all seen this trend everywhere, um, but this is the first time I'm doing it, so I'm really excited to play around with this. I did get two different kinds from Amazon, but they kind of look exactly the same, so I'll probably use some of these outside as well. But yeah, so I'll link these down below, um, but let's go ahead and get them on the wall. Okay, so we've got the bats up. It looks so cool. <laughs> um, this is such a great like big impact space, um, especially if you're doing like a taller wall, um, just to really fill out the space. And I will say, looks like I need a bat here. I'll probably still add some stuff in, but um, I will say don't use the little sticks that came with the bats. Um, I'll recommend just grabbing some tape this seems to work a lot better because they seem to not be the greatest when you go to take them off um, the wall sticks and they didn't want to stick on this mirror especially with the spider web so i really had to put a lot of tape on there i'm sure one or two will fall off <laughs> before it's all said and done um but yeah i'll have to keep moving those around a little bit but for now let's move on to hang our witches hats
okay we've got the witches hats hung they look so cool <laughs> there is kind of a lot going on i'm not gonna lie but um yeah i love that i tried to do the best i could as far as hanging them a similar height maybe the one on the left could go down just a hair but um, I ended up just taping the fishing line to the command hooks that worked super great instead of trying to tie it um, but yeah almost done okay last but not least we're just going to add a little striped doormat that I got on Amazon here to kind of add some something in this space because we need a little bit of color here given how crazy the back wall is I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I had so much fun decorating this entryway. It looks really cool. I can't wait to come home, open the door, and see all this Halloween craziness. Um, I really hope this kind of put you in that Halloween mood, kind of ready to decorate for your own stuff. And let me know down in the comments, what themes are you trying this year? Are you doing bats, skeletons? Let me know what you're most excited to try. And be sure you're subscribed because I have more Halloween content coming your way. And give this video a like as well. And with that, I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.